uh, what is here. Marco, welcome once again. Thank you, sir. Um, I want to believe you are the same person handling your social media page. Yes, please. I'm so not a star yet. You are not a star yet. A star yet. Okay. So what it means is that everything there can be attributed to you. Yes, please. Okay, good. Now that we've been given the green light to function, let's move on. So once again, August 11th at 9.53 a.m., our brother here, who is one big name in the movie industry, said this, and it is worth considering. Congratulations to director Kofiche and his Saba Films team for a successful premiere of 95 at Watch and Dine Cinema in Kumasi. Honestly, the first time I watched the film, I wasn't proud I worked on it because of what I saw on the screen and sound quality at the Snap Cinema in Accra. But after watching it yesterday, I feel so fulfilled and proud and want more eyes to watch this film in a similar cinema. Others like myself left the Snap Cinema with disappointment because the trailer of the film was tempting and I was expecting to see something more. But the reaction of the cinema yesterday was just fulfilling to a filmmaker. Yes, we need cinemas across the country, but not just any kind. Not one like the current state of Snap Cinema that will degrade the picture and sound quality of very good films. Please, don't call it a cinema if it is not. We appreciate your presence, but please get better. We understand if it is a hall. We keep complaining about the business of Silver Bird Ghana, but there is no competition. Snap Cinema is not a competition, neither is, site, neither is National Theatre because you can't get the cinema experience from these places. Your film can't run two weeks continuous there. The day of the premiere is not the only day the producer makes money. A film like Side Chick Gang was in Silver Bird for some time. This is what every producer wants. If we are calling on government to help us with cinemas, please, let's be specific. Film is business. So if you are asking for a film, please, I will humbly advise... Uh, oh, okay. My, my co- uh, if we are asking for a film, a film village, we should be careful because we might get something we can't be proud of. Let's grow progressively. If you have a very good cinema that will take 100 people at a time for the film to keep running for a month, please, I will humbly advise uh, it is better than having a big hall which takes 1,000 people. But, do, 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 do. please, I will humbly advise Kofiche to screen his film again at a good a good cinema in Accra and have people watch it again to erase the bad memory. GH Movie Freak should watch it again. He is here. 95 is still showing at Watch and Dine Cinema in Kumasi today and tomorrow, 6 and 8 p.m. If people want to watch the movie, it continues to stay in the cinema. Once again, congratulations. As for our stars, another day. That will be next week. I'm sure tomorrow at 9.53 he will post the one on the stars so that next week Wednesday we discuss that. Now, Kwadi, uh, obviously, if I am a worker at Snap Cinema, if I am a management member at Snap Cinema, if even if I'm just close to Snap Cinema, I will not be happy with this your post. Are you aware? Um, I try not to offend anybody with my post because I edited it several times. To make sure I was saying the truth but not offending anybody. That's what I try to do. Well, it might not be offensive to the individuals, but it is offensive to business. Well, if you want business to grow, um, you give us what we deserve. And if it must be done, it must be done well. So that's what I was trying to preach to Snap Cinema, not to offend anybody. Okay, summarize your point for me. Um, I've read it, but yeah. summarize it for me. So, so that I um, uh-huh. I, I went to watch the film um, 95 at Snap Cinema and the truth, I wasn't impressed. And um, Tony, I, I remember I told Tony because he wanted to interview me, but I told him I don't want to grant an interview because I might not say the truth um, about, about what movie. I saw exactly. Okay. And I even spoke to Kovic after the film and I was telling him mm-hmm. some of the things that I saw that... Um, I wasn't impressed about and then because i thought and uh, that was how the film was but um i was fortunate to be in kumasi to watch um again and i saw the difference the the quality of the pictures the sound everything was different and then i realized that no 
then there's something wrong with the cinema that the film was shown in Accra. Okay. So that was what actually made me post it because I saw the reaction of a lot of people that left the cinema on the day and it wasn't good. People even wanted to question the the filmmaker and I felt bad for him because there are films that you watch, you don't understand, but you enjoy the sound, you enjoy the picture. So you don't even think about where the story is leading to. But in this case, people wanted to question him about everything and I, was, I felt bad for him. I thought he didn't good, do a good film because like, I like to associate myself with good films. But on that day, I wasn't really confident about the film. But after watching it again, I wanted a lot of people to see it because it's a very good film. Mm-hmm. So how come on the first day, you couldn't f- f- figure out that it was from the screen and it was from the sound until you went to um, um, uh, watch and dine before you realized, oh, okay, so it was the sound and the screen. That was my first time at the Snap Cinema. I've heard of it, but that was my first time um, being there. And then being there, I saw what I saw and then being, and that was my first time at watch and dine too. So. They are both first time, so I realized that then there's something wrong with the snap cinema. Unless maybe I'm wrong, and no, then wait they can justify th- 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 This is my defense. Um, yeah. Even though you might not have enjoyed the picture and the, the, uh, sound. the sound, but then the storyline was intact. The storyline was the same. What was shown at snap was the same as Watch and Dine. Was the storyline also not intriguing enough? Well, is it, I read a script so I, because I worked on it, so I knew like there was. You worked on it as as a casting director. Okay. So I knew okay. I know the story, so I knew there was something um, in there. So you trusted the story. Exactly. Oh, okay. So th- that's why I actually um, went to see to, to write something about it because mm. um, he and my my problem is that imagine if there was a distributor in that hall on that day, will he still get that distribution? No. At Snap Cinema, I don't believe because, like, I think it was bad. Mm. Like the sound mm-hmm. and then the pictures, it's mm-hmm. not anything to like we can be proud of. Mm. And then it was also there for just um, two nights, like that it was Saturday and then Sunday. What happens to the it, two mm. days? Mm. Mm. So, what no, two nights. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it is still two nights. Yeah. So still what happens night. to the rest of the of the days in Accra? Um, did they restrict him from doing other days? Did they only tell him you can only do two days? Well, I honestly don't know what the principles are at uh, Snap Cinema, but I think you can only do weekends. You can I only think. do weekends. That is what. Unless you maybe know. I'm wrong. Yes. Okay, no problem. We will be getting answers, so yeah. that that is okay. Now, in terms of air conditioning, uh, as in the field there and the sitting arrangement, was that okay? I think the sitting the sitting arrangement was 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 okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, the air conditioning, well, yeah, it was. Well, I can't remember those because my my focus was actually was. Mm. But were you feeling feeling hot? No. You were not feeling hot. It was comfortable enough. Yes, it was comfortable. Okay. And again, in your write-up, you seem to doubt whether the place is meant for a cinema proper or it's a hall. How did you see it? Because it's more like um, how the National Theatre is set up. Like the set up. And National Theatre is not a cinema. So it's a hall I'm sure they use for events. So um, it's just... For an agenda of the government, they will use it as a cinema. Agenda of the government. Yeah, because the, the government has mm-hmm. promised us cinema, so they will use it as one of the cinema. Because it's, it's a government institution, unless I'm wrong. The Snap Cinema. Yes, it's uh, for government. We, we will get. AMA mm-hmm. belongs to. The unless maybe I'm wrong. No, AMA it, it is yeah, a government. government. So un- yeah. So unless because and I know Snap Cinema is, is in the same place. Mm. So mm. unless it was built by a private company, then. Mm. 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 But also one thing I realized: if private people are doing something, they do it well because they know that it is business. But if government is doing something, like they don't go in wholeheartedly. That's what that's my perception. Mm. So, so to you, your final conclusion is that you don't see the place as a qualified cinema, as the snap cinema. No, you don't see the place as a qualified I don't think, cinema. I don't think it's a cinema because if it's a cinema, then a lot of work has to go into it. You have to actually set it up so that movies can stay there. For for a longer for, period, for a longer period, because that's mm-hmm. how producers make money. I know the premiere night is when you showcase the film for the mm-hmm. world to come and see. Mm-hmm. So people want to watch it afterwards. Where do they go? But for comparing if it's um, in the silver bed, the silver bed. If your film is there, 
the day of the premiere the next day people are watching it will still be there if it comes if people still come watching for the next one month it will still be there if people stop coming that's when they take it out of the cinema that's my understanding so i don't think snap cinema has the same value um silver bed will give to you and i don't have a problem with the location because like as a cinema they can be anywhere but you just have to make sure people can easily travel there because right now uber is there so you can actually request for uber and then you'll be mm-hmm, there mm-hmm, trotro mm-hmm. goes there Thomas mm-hmm. station is close so mm-hmm. the place is fine but the service the around facilities. there yeah exactly it's not it's mm-hmm. nice it's nice in my standard did your man as in the producer you worked with uh you mentioned his name as Kofiche. Uh, Kofiche. Yeah. did he pay for that space or it was for free well i, I didn't go into it i don't know you, you don't know uh, you didn't also care to find out no i didn't Okay, thank you so much. And I'm sure we can now start the discussion proper. You can also be part of us on our Twitter. Uh, feel free. It is at Xylophone1021. At Xylophone1021. Uh, give me a mention at Sammy Flex. Remember the hashtag Showbiz Agenda. And uh, let's do, uh, let's to do more. So you heard the voice of Mauko Kwaji. He's the CEO of um, MK Concept and MK Casting. And uh, he's also noted for being the casting manager of one prominent world film, Beast of No Nation. Uh, his contribution is worth considering in the industry because he is still doing more. Tony Asankoma, come. Uh, come on the mic before I'll move on to Secret Safo. How many times have you been to the Snap Cinema? Um, two times. Two times. Yeah. Which movies did you go there okay, to see? The, the first time was when the place was outdoored to us mm-hmm. as a cinema. Um, and the second time was for the premiere of 95. Okay. Um the first day that the place was outdoor was there a movie? Yes, after the they did the you know the introductions blah blah. They they show they screen the film. Mm-hmm. Um I think it was Kubolo. Mm-hmm. Yes, Kubolo. Miracle, oh, okay. Miracle, Miracle Films, Films Kubolo. Kubolo. Yeah. yeah, I know about that movie. Uh-huh. Now I know you have been uh, doing so many businesses for movie people and all yeah. that. Uh, so therefore your judgment when it comes to some of these things are a little bit of a question but we don't care. Uh, <laughs> today we have to go straight to it. Yeah. Um do you agree with the right up of uh, Mauko Kwazi? Yes, I, I absolutely agree. Mm-hmm. I agree because um I was I was I was at the premiere of 95 and um honestly the 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 cinema took a lot away from the film um f- not just for me but for everyone who saw it that night um i remember very well like he said i wanted to interview him after the premiere and he he declined to comment he was like he doesn't want to say anything that might harm the film or so he, he chose not to speak but i made that observation too and even on the very first day we were at the snap cinema where it was opened or commissioned the, there was a Q and A session after after everything, and I remember one uh, one uh, film director producer who was also present. They raised concerns about some of these things that Marco has addressed. That uh, it's so it's a cinema they are they are they are they are giving out to us or a service they are offering to not just the public but also film producers, and it should come with the whole cinema thing is an experience otherwise people would choose to watch their films at home it's an experience which is uh, unique or different from that feeling you get when you watch a film from home or when you watch a film in an outdoor uh, place so people raise that concern and i remember very well that um i think um one i've forgotten her, her name she's a uh, the f- uh, facility management company that's handling the cinema said that oh yes they are aware of uh what that the issues were the mm. issues were and mm. they would expedient sh- sh- like fix um, um the issues fix the issues mm-hmm. but as it stands now it, it seems clearly so they, so on the have, day what were some of the issues that came up for okay discussion? one one everyone who knows film knows that film is visual audiovisual so it's two things you need to see and you also need to hear and and not just here it has to be uh, um, of of a certain quality, you know. Uh, that's why cinemas have surround sound. Even when you buy a home theater at home, they will tell you it comes with sur- surround sound speakers because the entire film making process incorporates sound. You need to you do sound design when you are when you are you are, you are working on a film. And sound design alone, it's 
it's it's a whole job on itself it's a whole department a lot goes into sound design and it will it would hurt for a producer to um spend so much money so much expertise talent on doing sound design only for it to be ruined by the the cinema where you you screen screen the film at people raised concerns on that night that surround sound is very key that you need to figure and they said okay they'll, they'll sort it out also I, I i also noticed that very day that very day they did the opening that the pro, the, the projector they were using was um the aspect ratio it was it was projecting mm-hmm, on the mm-hmm, screen mm-hmm. was i noticed that day it was uh, uh, three by six yeah uh three to six those who understand yeah. um, mm-hmm. yes. projectors yes they they know what i'm talking about when in actual sense in most films is 16 16 by 9 which is much wider and much clearer i noticed that that's on the opening night i think i made mention it mentioned to someone and i don't know but on the night of 95 i noticed that it was in uh, 16 by 9 which was an okay aspect ratio but yes still there were so many things wrong with the pictures some of the the pictures looked um bent out some looked you you know another aspect of filmmaking is the cinematography and the editing and especially when you are doing editing most people choose certain color grading schemes and all of that to enhance or give the film a a cinematic feel but on the night i also noticed that all those cinematic elements look very wrong on the screen Mm. there there were so many burnouts especially for Mm. the out Mm. outdoor scenes Mm. you know for me i knew it was a problem with the cinema I knew what a, it was a problem, so I didn't even in my rating or grading of the film, I didn't I didn't take um, um, that. Um, I didn't fault them on that and say they they didn't do well with it. And also because I know the team that worked on the film and their 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 pedigree, I know the works they've worked on, and I know they wouldn't make those mistakes. Yes. So even in scoring the film, I I. I did take that into account that it could be as a result of the cinema not being of that um, top quality. Top quality. Mm. And even in my review, I made mention that uh, um, Snap Cinema needs to put all those things in in place to make sure that the cinema experience is not taken away. Because people, people again, I've said it. People would want to go to the cinema because of the experience. Yeah. Otherwise, they would sit at home get a small tv or even on their mobile phone and then watch the film but it comes with a, a whole experience you know you enjoy you join you enjoy the film in a cinema differently from when you're at home and okay. sound sound is is amazing you, you you hear you can hear some sounds in, on the left right all the balancing of sounds it adds to the film okay yes and and on that very night for 95 a lot was taken away by the cinema uh Mar- when Marco got to see it at uh, I was also supposed to go mm-hmm. to Kumasi to see mm-hmm. but I, I got caught up with other things I couldn't make it he called me and he was like Tony you should have been here I was like yeah I, I know because I, I felt but have you been to the watch and dine before I haven't been there yet okay. yeah, I haven't been I haven't mm. been there yet I'm mm. hoping f- the next mm. time there's a big film screening I'm, I'm hoping to make it okay yeah Um. he, he called me and said he wished I was there to have seen the film differently and and I was like, yes, because I, I already knew something had been taken away f- from the film on okay. that night. Okay. And and this is where it becomes tricky. He was also sh- suggesting that uh, he should do a screening again. And I'm like, this it becomes more work for uh, the production yeah. company now because they've left a bad taste in the mouth of some people. Mm. So mm. it's like, ah, so film where you know, it makes their work more difficult now. Yes. So I, 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 I in, in totality I support what he's preaching that if it if we are being provided cinemas, it should be of that standard. It shouldn't okay. be a facility that is no as a horse any hope. Yes. Mm. It, it makes it makes it it takes a lot from, from the work that producers put into the the, the film and okay. also that entire experience. Look, mm-hmm. there are average Ghanaians who believe that who are who are in this country who haven't been to a cinema yet because they think it's a luxury mm-hmm. so it becomes difficult for them to understand the cinema culture or why they should go and pay some money to watch a cinema but once you have more cinemas that are of that 
quality or that standard. I know I have a I have a, a friend. Those times when we started going to Silver Bed, he was always making fun of us. Or I say, Mo And now <laughs> he, he he's 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 like he's an addict. If the film is is announced, he will be the one to say, Charlie, you have a time, man. You know, he was always making fun of us, and mm-hmm. and and he enjoyed the experience. That okay. first time he went there, he enjoyed the experience. So. I think if we are going to revive the cinema culture as it's supposed to be, then we need to we need to um, put all the right systems in place to ensure okay. that uh, producers are not taken for for granted, okay. and also the the audience who are coming to pay money get the cinema experience. Okay, thank you so much. His name is Tony Asankoma. He works with GHMovieFreak.com, one of our movie critics here in Ghana. And uh, everybody knows him for his job. Now on Twitter, I want to be reading tweets from you. First of all, have you been to the Snap Cinema before? Uh, we've talked about this Snap Cinema here on several occasions. Have you been there before? What was the purpose for? Was it to see a movie? I know that um, Lexi and his people, they also did the live, Laugh Line comedy there some two weeks or so ago. Uh, if you have been at the Snap Cinema before, let me get to know your experience uh, in terms of movies. Uh, let me get to know your experience there, how you felt, was it good enough and all of that. At Xylophone 1021, give me a mention and uh, showbiz agenda hashtag let's do more so um snap cinema how are you associated with it a sign that you need more snap cinema oh yeah management member oh yeah saying well let me say mm-hmm. snap cinema started as uh my brainchild okay yeah I, I was with the mayor. We were discussing uh, creative arts in Accra, how to turn Accra into a creative arts city. So, broad from filmmaking to every support we can give to all the creative Creatives, arts yeah. industry. Mm. Yeah. And then he said, oh, come. I have a facility here. Come and see it. So, he went, we went downstairs he opened the place. I look at it. I said, wow, you have this facility here. He said, well, we can do something about it. Let's start screening. And that is how it starts. So he took me to the facility managers. We sat down. We discussed it. I realized that they don't understand the, the industry, even from percentages and ticketing and all that. It took me a hell of time to convince them to understand what it is all about. For them, they are renting their place for other events. They shoot a lot of programs, TV programs there and all that. So now bringing in cinema, some, to some extent to them, it was even going to be a border. Mm-hmm. But I managed to convince them and with the support of the mayor, mm-hmm. we convince them and all that. As we speak, even percentage-wise, what goes to the producer and what goes to um, the owners? The owners. Mm-hmm. We are still discussing it, and okay. they have given us time to steady the trend for some time before they will be able to do certain a adjustments. Final decision. Yeah, okay. they are businessmen. Mm. Okay. So this is how it all started. Mm. So, so one, one first question. Yeah. Um, the Snap Cinema is not a government property. It belongs to the AMA. AMA. Okay, so it is a government yeah, facility. Yeah, it's a government facility. Good, let's move on. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm. I wanted to clear that because yeah. um, Mauko in his presentation made a statement like that, that yeah. maybe government wanted to just give something and he gave that facility to us. So it is agreed but, that the Snap Cinema is a government facility. Yes, but I've given you the, the, the story. I know, I know. It's I know. not as if governments decide that, hey... Uh, I won't see them and say, Mungo Fawi. No. No, I, I, I understood yeah, it. It I is my it. conviction. So, yes. Okay. No problem. Yeah. That is okay. Yeah. I only want to know that the facility, the edifice mm. there, who owns it? And it's the AME. Me, the AME, which yeah. is a government institution. Yeah. Now, I know you, when it comes to cinemas, you have seen, if that bigger ones, quality ones, because you've mm. been to the world mm. doing movies here and there. Yeah. In your own estimation, do you think that the Snap Cinema is of uh, standard when it comes to cinema experience? There is nothing like a standard cinema 
from the scratch. It depends on how it all starts and where it ends. If you had been to um, Ghana Films, your answer, I'm twisting it a bit. Mm -hmm. If you have been to Ghana Films, I don't know, have you been there before? Ghana Films? No. You, did you ever watch a movie at Ghana no. Films? How many of you watch a film at Ghana Films? Mm -hmm. uh, for, for you, Not the executive, uh -huh. the main Ghana Films. Mm -hmm. No. You, you didn't watch a film mm -hmm. at the main Ghana mm -hmm. films. Yeah. Oh, okay. There yeah, was the executive yes, yeah, theater. Yeah, yeah, Prima for the night and your acting. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> there was the executive theater, which happens to be Kwame Nkrumah's personal cinema hall. That is where he was watching movies. Good. And then came the main hall, where today you have uh, the radio station, Unia FM. Unia FM, yeah. It used to be a cinema hall. Mm-hmm. Do you understand? That mm -hmm. used to be the cinema hall. Okay. But it wasn't actually a cinema hall. Mm -hmm. It used to be their canteen. Okay. And they converted it into a cinema. There are a lot of cinema halls around the country which were not built purposely for cinema. Okay. Like which and which one? Oh, you have a place like Vicente Sisters. Mm -hmm. I can mention a lot. Mm. Are they still in operation now? No, they are not. They are okay. off because of the, the, the challenge of mm. distribution. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Mm. So it has all collapsed. Now, even Ghana Films, as a country, they started from a point, developed it. The challenges were there. And I remember Mr. Kwanza was the one who was working on it, from sound to all that. Orion Cinema at Circle, we had a challenge there. And we were working on it until it collapsed. I'm only implying that every project starts from point A and you will notice the challenges. You start fixing them and it develops. Okay. Yeah. So, now so the standard cinema you are asking that I've seen <clears throat> outside, yes, I'm telling you what you see there today that you call it standard they didn't start from that point. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. They will start from point A, start improving on it until you get to where they are. And they are even improving on it okay. as we speak. So, so Kate, no, knowing very well the competition we are all facing in the world of cinema, mm -hmm. uh, Maoko said something very important. He said that if there were to be distributors mm -hmm. on the day of the premiere, mm -hmm. they would have ignored the movie because to them, the movie is substandard. It doesn't meet their uh, standard to make profit because of the cinema experience. Maybe if they had seen it first at the Watch and Dine or maybe at Silver Bird Cinemas, they would have done business. Are we considering that? Noting still that, oh, it is a work in progress. Well, Sami, no distributor worth his salt will do what he is saying. No. No distributor. Why are you so sure about that? Because a distributor who understands his job will ask for a copy of the movie mm -hmm. and watch because he understands the dynamics. What Distrib about that producer who did not go there for business, went to see the uh, movie, he went to cinema, mm -hmm. but then after seeing it, felt, oh, this is business uh, worthy. If I put money into it, I can get it back. Can in we consider that in experience? Terms in terms of what? Okay, Watching let, the movie. Yes. Can, what I, can he, I give what? an example? Okay. Like, you know when there's a, food, a football match playing, uh -huh. sometimes agents go there. Exactly. Without, without announcing their presence. Mm -hmm. there's mm -hmm. a, there might be a very good footballer, but on that day, it doesn't shine. Mm -hmm. How would they know? Exactly. No, uh, uh, that's why I'm saying that a distributor worth his salt, when he goes for the film, will ask for a copy. If he's actually looking for a movie, mm -hmm. There are things that a producer will look for, a, a distributor will look for. First, if you want to assess how good a movie is, the story. I have seen a movie that they like the story so much to the point that they even recommend certain um, Input. inputs. Mm. Do you understand? So no, pro, no actual distributor will come, come and watch the film and will say that, oh, um, I've watched it and I don't like it based on what I've seen here. 
Mm. No. So, so are, are you admitting on this point that, uh, yes, the cinema is not ready yet. It is not up to the level yet. Are you admitting? I'm sure if you admit, then there is no need we continue with the discussion. You see, my challenge here, my challenge here, honestly, um, I have done a lot of psyching myself for this. Mm -hmm. Because yesterday it was different. Yeah. Yeah. Mm, I know. That's, you get a lot of calls mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. advice mm -hmm. and psyching to. Why? What? What was your plan oh, yesterday? Because, no, no, it wasn't. Not, not a plan. Because to be honest with you, uh, Malco. Yes, sir. You remember you came to my office and I advised you on being a manager. Which year? Yeah. No. Was it this year? Last year. Last year. Yes. Okay. You came and I advised you on being a manager. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How to be successful. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. I didn't go out there or to other producers and tell them a challenge I'm finding with the kind of job you are doing and so but I called you personally. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. Because you are doing business. I called you and I talked to you. No, I didn't call you. You came to my office for something else. Yeah, I came yeah. and we... And when you introduced yourself, I said, ah, oh, you are the... Malco, Charlie, come. I need to advise you on something. And we talk behind the scenes. Do you understand how you should go about it? Malco here, even being in this industry, we've all been crying for distribution, cinemas and all that. Me, as I sit here, my brother, maybe um, I may be comfortable by God's grace, but I look at... The struggle we are going through, finding places to screen and all that. When I got there, the first recommendation I gave to uh, the managers there was that the screen. Mm -hmm. Can we get an LED screen? All these recommendations I gave them. And they said, oh, let's start and see how. Because it's not their business. They, they have their, their place. Oh. Do you understand? But if it is not their business, then they shouldn't also involve themselves in it to destroy other person's business. This is not the only film that has been screened there. I don't want to go to that area. Mm -hmm. I don't want to go there. Okay, wait. No, let's go there because... No, it, it, Masa, no, 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 wait. wait Sokri, Sokri. Uh, Tony was Sokri, saying, Sokri, Sokri, you are not getting something. If you say this is not the only movie that has been screened there, then you are driving to this point that a movie like Kobirana's movie... Which was screened there, and uh, Kobe Che just sent me a message that, boss, I've been there before to watch a movie by Kobirana. Their air conditioners were tight, and it is a beautiful place. Maybe you think that with Kobirana's movie, the look and feel was good, or they were good. So the if picture, it, wait, wait, look, uh -huh. I'm, I'm, I'm being careful. The Bible says something in First Corinthians chapter thirteen, verse eleven. Mm -hmm. it says, when I was a child, I speak as a child, mm -hmm. but when I grow, I speak as an adult. Mm -hmm. So I'm being measured in what I'm saying. Okay. Do you understand? Yeah. Knowing the oh, challenges you can be measured, that. but yeah, as adults, yeah, we can also measured. do uh, draw our inference. Yeah, 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 fine. Uh -huh. But you see, when it's business involved. and you are involved, yeah, you must be to you want to protect. Yeah, you the must businesses. pick. Yeah, strategic. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So I'm I'm careful. Okay. So the challenge, other movies, you, uh -huh. the challenge we you that was with the picture he's talking of. Uh -huh. Do you understand? Was not the same with uh, Kobirana's movie. movie. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? Well, me, I the didn't challenge. watch. I didn't watch Kobirana's. Uh -huh, movie. And that was, like watch. I said, that yes. was my first but time. You see, I was going to both places. Good. You know what? No. Before even the start of the movie, mm -hmm. were you there before they start? I came for the second show. You came for the okay. Yeah. They were struggling with the aspect ratio, and they, were you in, in there? Yeah, I, I was outside, but they told me. Yeah, yeah, they were fixing it, looking for color tones and all that. Do you understand? And they were doing it even in a hurry. Because around seven o'clock, and I was with them that, ah, even by five o'clock, you could have been here to do, do this. But around seven o'clock, people were outside, and they were still struggling with the toning and all that. As for projector, what you put in is what you get. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. What you put in is what you get as a projector based on the settings. So the settings we gave to um, Kobe Kobe Runner's Runner's film, uh -huh. we didn't touch anything the same settings. Uh -huh. Do you understand? Okay. Fine. My brother, mm -hmm. uh, it's business involved. It's business. So let's be circumspect with how we 
handle the information, the information around, around, around and mm-hmm. advice and all that. We may end up killing the place. Um, Do you in fact, me? after reading the post, I also felt you may end up if I'm a movie maker, I'll not, go, I'll not go there. But well, you see what you, you, you've Sammy, done, it's I, maybe the I fact, need, need but to, how you presented it. That's why I said that when I was writing, I made sure not to offend. And if you read, so this is even the best you for the for the not to offend, it it sounds offensive. What fine, but the producer has just pulled out his film. Yeah, but I because said because of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I said that. I see. Oh, yeah. but the experience I got, I was sharing my experience. Exactly. I'm not. I'm not. Um. I'm not like uh, restricted from sharing my experience. Not I'm at all. I'm allowed to share because the film is also someone else's business, mm-hmm. and I've watched other people's film in other cinemas, and then I go out and I felt the same way I felt that day, and this is a movie that I have worked on. He, I was paid for my service, but I felt bad for the producer because who will talk good about that movie again? If I, if nobody talks about it, how does the producer also make money? So that was my problem, not just about... And if it is not of a good standard, you can't compare... And I made comparison. You can't compare Silver Bird to Snap Cinema. If you, if you say it's a whole, because if people go and premiere, they have, I've seen movies premiere at National Theatre and it doesn't have the same quality as Silver Bird. I don't complain. But once you say it's a cinema, then let's have the cinema experience. Because if you are giving it out, because if, if you go and pre- uh, premiere your film at National Theatre, you know that you can't do um, um, from like Monday the whole... From exactly. yeah. mm. Those are the... Papa, let me business. Let me come mm-hmm. here. So mm-hmm. if it's business, mm-hmm. if you are thinking about the business of Snap cinema, cinema, but you're not thinking about the business of the producer, how do we move forward? How does the producer make money after the night of premiere? We are, th- we, are, we are not thinking about all these things. So we have to move forward progressively and think about all these things. No. Yeah, I don't know what has gone into it, mm-hmm. but I was speaking as a layman who has watched move from this um, uh, two places at the same, uh, at the first time. So me, I, I'm not willing to maybe collapse anybody's business or anything. You have done but it already. Well, I was just speaking my, yeah. I was just speaking the truth. Okay. All right. But thank you, you so much. Uh, so great. I'm, I'm still coming back to you. Um, Lexi says, please, can I have my take on the Snap Cinema Hall discussion since I've had my show there before? Lexi, if, if there is time, I'll give you the chance to do Why not? Um, we yes. were talking about showing a film throughout. Ask Kobichi if we restricted him to only two days. Mm-hmm. Did you ask him? There's some saying that I don't know. Ah, but if I'm you don't know, saying... then how do you come out and draw this conclusion to the public? Ah, you, you mean Kofiche, Kofiche, yeah, not Kofiche. Kofiche. But yeah. what did I say? Mm-hmm. Did I say that he was restricted? No. But you see, you, you what you said, I beg you, you see, maybe when you grow in future and you read the same thing, you understand what you have done. Because for me to put out something, I must investigate first. You are talking about people being able to show their films throughout the week. Read what you, you, you put out there. It means you can't do it. Yeah. Do you understand? What you said means you can't do mm, it. A mm. producer coming will not choose to bring his film there for just two, for days. Just two days. No, is it night. done? Am I, if I'm wrong, is it done? It is, is done? not true. But is it done? Has anybody Nobody done it? Nobody restricted him. But has any, has, did Kobe Rana do it? No. Wait, Kobe, you see, Kobe Rana did two days. Uh-huh. Do you understand? Kobe Rana did two days. So Again, Saturday nobody, and Sunday. Yes, nobody stopped him. Uh-huh. You are the producer. You can decide that I want to show it for one week, two weeks. Do, do you understand? So, so, so he's asking that, is it allowed if you want yes. to do a full week? If you want to do it, it is up to you. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. He said it's only weekends. According to Kofiche. Uh, according to Marco, what he said right now, uh-huh. that um, he thinks that uh-huh. the movies is... He thinks. The, the, only, the movie could be only shown for yeah, you two see, days. For, for two weekends. days, but yeah. weekends. Okay. When you want to do something like this, you don't use the I think thing. You must verify. You are putting it out there in public. Do you understand? So you must put facts. It is you, the producer, who will decide that. Oh, I want to shoot for. I want to show for a week. So, so, oh, yeah. Yeah. Please, let, let's not go back and forth. I remember on the day the place was opened, yeah. they they made mention that Snap Cinemas is available only on weekends. When you went for the opening, no. yes. No, I remember no. very well. No. So great. Mm. I, I wish, uh, come closer to I, my I guy. wish there were there were uh, tapes. Okay. To, okay. To, okay. To the management of the cinema yes. said that yeah. yes. the place is only available for uh, uh, weekends. W- weekends. Yes, and they even stated the time that mm. it's uh, I think six p.m. to uh, six or oh I mm. I wish I could I mm-hmm. get get the facts yeah. proper. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, okay. take your time. Facts. Take your okay. time. Um, so great. Yes. Yeah, so uh, if someone wants to do a whole week, uh, it's, allowed. And it's allowed. 
Okay. It's allowed. And uh, so far, what is the deal? Because um, he also pointed out that as much as Silverbed Cinemas might not be the run to place, mm-hmm. if we are going to another place, it should be this and that. What is the condition there if I want to bring my movie there for premiere? What are the percentage sharing? 40 for the producer. Okay. 60, 60 for the 40 producer. for the producer for now. 60 and for I, the producer. I told you something that uh-huh. in, when we, we, we met the facility managers, mm-hmm. we were negotiating mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. for, a, and they said, okay, let's start and let's see how it goes. Okay. Then we can vary it mm-hmm. because mm-hmm. we want more for produ- the producer. Okay. That is how uh, it is done. It is, it is now. Okay. Please, can that, I ask, um, like, what um, time? We, we yeah, are wrapping just, up. We are wrapping um, up. Uh-huh. Just to ask, mm-hmm. because I didn't know he was involved. Mm-hmm. So at, during the week, what time can anyone like go watch a movie there? No, mm. it is you, the producer, who decides. So what? So it because means that during the week, it's a business no, place. During the no, week, right. no, no movie, no six. movie. Maybe that is what. Um, how do you call it? Tony. Tony is saying that uh, they said mm-hmm. only on weekends because it's a is a they close at five. So what means that the place is used for other activities during the day? Exactly. Yes. And it is turned to a so movie during house the day, do you, in the can evening. Can you still screen yes. your movies? No. Ah, uh, okay. I no, get no, it. I get they it. They close at five. No, I get. But so during the day, there is no movie. Unlike Silverbed, where you can walk in at any time. To go see a movie in the, in the day, yes, yes. no, so no. I, uh, okay, no. it's not Cinema, that much in the anymore. evening. If uh-huh. you want to show throughout the week, uh-huh. even in the evenings, it is there like 6 30, 8 30, the normal a movie time, 8 30, the 7 movie p.m. We do yes. our movies from 7 p.m. Yes, if so you want you to do it, go. it is allowed. The place is available. Okay, thank you. Um, Mike Yona, thank you, Secretary Safo. Uh, yes. Mike Yona, what is your opinion so far? Uh, yeah. the banter in and yes, out. Yes, I've, I've, I've listened to all the sides, and mm-hmm. um, I think it's a design issue, all right. Um, just like Socrates said, um, it was maybe the, the space was available for other activities. Somebody said, um, somebody just sent me a text to say um, he, att- he attended seminars over there. Mm-hmm. You know, they mm-hmm. use it for other things. Like um, he just confirmed during the day he has other activities. Now, if he has to be converted, now Socrates, as a businessman, saw the space and said, oh, wow, this is a nice space for cinema. Now, I think what, what Sokri has to do ha- is to bring in a designer to come and put in the necessary measures that can suitably convert the place into a space for movies, you know, movie premiering. I think that is what he's trying to say. Is it's in the process. Mm-hmm. I think they need to hasten up the process, mm-hmm. you know, so that um, movie maker, it doesn't take anything out of any movie producer's um, hard work, you know, because... If your facility is going to take anything out, like Marco says, then that, then that's a defect. All right. So my my mine is an appeal that since he's a stakeholder in there, he should he should hasten the process or see to the hastening of, of the process that will make sure that the place is suitably suitably designed for the cinema. Um, um, because we need more cinema spaces in the in the in the city, and the place is well. Okay well located okay yeah. thank you so much mr Uh yeah on the sound issue yeah yeah on this sound issue uh-huh. um, i don't want to mention the but i've even talked to one of our sound engineers um i don't know if he's without his permission yeah, yeah. it's all about the console we have a, a console there with uh, the the mixer and they've mm-hmm. not even tuned it well because the people there are not so i'm even sending uh how do you call it Someone who understands yes, sound. Yes, to even tune it. Uh, I can even recommend a Pietus for you. It, 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 uh, yeah, I can recommend ready. a Pietus for you. A Pietus can it, 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 do it, 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 a good, it, it, a good work. No, there. With, with, uh-huh. with, with, uh-huh. with, with, with all due respect, uh-huh. it takes a little more than just a console to have a good sound in a space. Mm-hmm. All right. It, the you, ambience. The ambience. The mm-hmm. acoustic treatment. Mm-hmm. You know, have you been there? No, I haven't. Please be there before you before I comment. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. No, I'm just I'm just no no no. He, no, he's, no, he's no. putting out facts no. that no, when no, it comes no. to sound, it is not it is not it's just also, the console, mm-hmm. but the yes. acoustic nature yes. of the place, yes. Yes. the ambience, they all, they all play the a role. It's on point. The acoustic is mm-hmm. on point. I give you my case. Uh-huh. That you when you get to a place and you see a challenge, you know that oh okay this is the challenge right. then you fix it okay. do you understand okay placement of the speakers mm-hmm. they are even adding because like i'm saying that it's not it wasn't initially fixed for cinema mm-hmm. yeah. the speakers the speaker placements is even a problem so they are even bringing in more it's work in progress it's work in progress so my only challenge is that having noticed this my brother in this field all you needed to do was to call the attention of the managers behind it. That is what we do maturely. 
You don't go okay. out there and just kill the whole business. Isn't it? Okay. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Um, uh, for real, before there's just a continuation yeah. of an information is applied yeah, earlier. So uh-huh. uh, this was uh, Mrs. Marfo Dosu speaking. She she works with the um, Snap Cinema Facility Management Company. Mm-hmm. Speaking. She said. Uh, the cinema would have screenings for Ghanaian films from 6 p.m. to 12 a.m. on Fridays to Sundays. Mm-hmm. Yes. For this the, was uh, contained in her statement. Yes. yes. Okay. Uh, from 6 p.m. to 12 a.m. Fridays to Sundays. So mm-hmm. that means it's only weekends. Okay. Yes. So, Chris, I'm sure this is a confirmation. I uh, hope you know the lady we're talking about. that. Uh-huh. You see, if you want to show throughout. Uh-huh. Uh, but on the day of the open, this is the Ma- statement Baba, she read. Mami. Even the statement she read uh-huh. is even different from what Mawuko just said that Saturday and Sundays. Even she has even added Fridays. Okay. Do you understand? So mm-hmm. as for interviews and mm-hmm. like I'm saying, work in progress. Okay. It's that from a point. All right. More Thank so, you. more uh-huh. so. I'm I'm coming uh-huh. more so. Uh-huh. Look at it technically. Mm-hmm. If you go to Silverbed most of the time on let's say Mondays or Tuesdays, mm-hmm. on, unless the film is even a popular movie a popular movie and well advertised ask them sometimes mm-hmm. they even start there is nobody in the theater and then they, they stop it happens mm. do you understand mm. let's also apply business sense to this whole thing okay that so you you guys want to mean that when it comes to movies we only watch that during weekends so during the days we shouldn't spend any i am please i'm not saying no that. no it's an advice no Okay. But which which kind of businessman uh-huh. who put on air conditioning, uh-huh. lights, and everything, uh-huh. and there is nobody in the theater? Yes, that is a good question. Thank you so much, uh, for you. I'm coming back to you. Eugene uh, works with Accra City Hotel and uh, 90 Degrees Event Company, and he says, "Good morning, boss. It's true they mentioned that they will only open for weekends, but I do understand why they are doing 60 40. Uh, are you saying you don't or you do? Uh, I didn't come well. Why they are doing 60 40 when they AMA they didn't contribute a dime for the building." but octagon fully funding it for them secret is now on the other side uh where everything goes which other side are you talking about here and uh, on twitter uh can talk no but i can talk <laughs> so Chris, if you've never I, been there been, how, been, how are you I've going been, to talk i've been to um standard cinemas and professional cinemas before mm-hmm. so yeah we've all been to standard yeah. cinemas <laughs> yeah. there is a cinema in London called called Vo Cinema Vo I've cinema. been to Vo Cinema yeah, you see? where you even watch with 3D 3D One bro Shakespeare's now they've, 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 they've upgraded to 4D uh-huh. you understand uh-huh. so um, what I'm trying to say here is this listening to them um, based on their submissions yeah the place was not even a cinema Yes, it's for events. Mm-hmm. You understand? I I commend the work you're doing. You trying to you know put up but, but, something. But can we say that is not a big deal? For the, the fact that it was not. It made... is. It is. It is a big deal. Oh it, no! It, 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 no, it depends see, on the see, makeup. How no, you know? No, 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 Sammy, Sammy. For real, for real. Sammy, why we are where we are operating now? Sammy, it was not meant for a radio see, studio. He's putting but a lot of effort it into a radio Listen, studio, and it is put, working perfectly. Sammy, Sammy, say again. Make sure it was ready. Sammy, That's what I'm saying. Sammy, Sammy. Sammy uh-huh. He is putting a lot of effort so that we could have a cinema in in the industry so that it could accommodate most of uh, movies and things which is good not a bad not a bad idea but the place is not for cinemas it's not it's not a cinema it's not a place where you could walk in and out to go watch movies it's for events it's for parties it's for engagement it's for whatever so that was what it was meant to be for but they're trying to you, uh, ahead, but he was trying to uh-huh. make sure that we have something uh, out of that. Out of that. Mm. But those things are not still being met. Mm. Whereby those sound, those pictures, quality, mm-hmm. those sound, and mm-hmm. whatever we talk, even the, uh, I, I don't want to talk about the sitters and whatever because I've not been there. So, but with base, base, base on what uh, I'm gathering and uh, even the messages I'm getting. It's is not for cinemas. Okay. It's not a place so, where so, you can so walk in. You, you are saying that if it is not meant for a cinema, we shouldn't use it for a cinema. Because if you're being restricted uh-huh. on a particular day to come and view or watch uh-huh. movies, it's not a cinema. Because okay. within the week or something like that, as he rightly said earlier on, they use it for their businesses. 
whereby people come to rent, people come to make, maybe they make more money from those, those they generate more money from those, you know, um, visit or those uh, little engagement that people come in to come um, 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 acquire the space for, okay. which is, which is, that's for their own this thing. But if it has to be for, for the industry, if they are saying, okay, fine, we want you guys to have it for your cinemas, you will, um, for your movies, then all those things needs to be put in place where we could okay. walk in mm-hmm. anytime mm-hmm. or any day mm-hmm. that, okay, fine, maybe even apart from our movies, mm-hmm. like this Lion Heart and some other mm-hmm. things too, could also be shown there, okay. whereby they could acquire rights and some other things. That's right. what cinema is meant for. Thank you, for real. So, if it doesn't look like a duck, if it doesn't work like a duck, if it doesn't quack like a duck, then it is not a duck. That's the PPS are We are up here and then organize it now. Um, the Wednesday team on showbiz agenda. Yeah. Why? Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. No, that's it. In the first place, oh. I will thank you for okay. this opportunity. Okay. And uh, thank Mauko for mm-hmm. Uh, the feedback. Mm-hmm. But my little advice, this is my little advice. Uh-huh. Say, uh-huh. Like I said, I quoted the Bible. It's mm-hmm. just to say something. Say, mm-hmm. First and foremost, think about it first. Mm-hmm. The effects you will be beyond coin, then when you be beyond the fatter. What am I saying? The industry needs something. We are going around. Look, I, I just go around surveying, hunting, looking for places. I ah, bet me a converted, not just even in Accra. What am I saying? Mm-hmm. You bet me a converted into the cinema. Yeah, where was Uzbek? A war, uh, Sunyani. Sunyani. Mm-hmm. If you know what we, the effort we put in to even convince them to get it back again. A lot of people are discouraged about even coming into cinema business. In the year, convince you a man for. But more convincing, you know, I have moon rain, you know, so didn't move it, but I said, moon said the movie. Uh-huh. Me, uh, yeah, so convincing, you know, they have a good business. Uh-huh. You see, minimum, 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 sometimes, no, a year is sad, yeah, me kind of me, papa, don't send for, and now, obi, a day, that's in. By then, if that's in, I'll buy first. Car, that's in. I'll buy. Or the more be lift. Now, damn fool, I'll buy the most info to call it. Oh, we all got a car, I said, that's in, what got up? Ghanaian, oh, we all got a car, I said, that's in, what got up? This is the Ghanaian attitude or mentality to some extent. Whatever somebody starts, the first thing is how bad it is. Yeah. That is what we look at. And for. Meaning. How it's bad experience now, yeah. Then we find a way to kill it. Mm. Mm. We find a way to kill. We are not looking at the, even the positives or how we can improve on it. Okay. When I got there, I I, I just mentioned that look, I even recommend say omun fa LED. Omun ko pe LED in fashion. Ni enyu su. Ni enyu su. projector no. Yes. Mm. There are recommendations you give them. I almost want more access. You almost say, oh, okay. But let's start. So, okay, well noted. And I believe. Me, your yeah, time you eat so That will be the brain. Hotels. Uh-huh. Do you go out there and come out and say all this? Okay. Uh, yeah, we can watch them later. So, okay, chapel. Yeah, that's it. When I'm ready.